Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Tired Hinsa and you're watching SDTV. Conference of Party, which is COP27, has just ended or rather it's going on still on certain peripheral or the marginal subject. But the crux of the matter is the recognized climate, which is changing. They recognize that the countries who are at the brunt of it, they face the brunt of it, should need insurance. In fact, Pakistan has been recognized as the topmost countries to receive some sum from that insurance cover in, in, in case of uh, some climate disaster and all that. But we have seen that for the past many years, the promises have not been met uh, from the other side. And on the other side, the countries are not prepared to even absorb those promises, even if they are met. So we'll talk about Pakistan, Brigadi Sahib, COP we have seen, we don't want to talk on that. A lot of people are talking and there's a lot of, there is no dearth of material on that. Please guide us what Pakistan should do to absorb all these changes and if there is something for Pakistan in this, what are the governance issues and what Pakistan should do? I think as is well known, such conferences where delegates meet, they discuss issues, they make recommendations, they make decisions and they discuss. You know, the implementation of those decisions, you know, either takes a very long time or they are not implemented at all. Fortunately, uh, COP27, see, in this, this uh, conference has been, you know, uh, good for us, somewhat good for us, because I was reading newspapers yesterday and uh, some funds have been promised for Pakistan, you know, which Pakistan will be getting. However, whatever the decisions of such conferences, Pakistan, you know, they should not take things for granted, you know. Uh, we have to mend our own things, you know. Uh, COP27, although funds have been, uh, you know, uh, promised to us, but we don't know when, you know, they will materialize. At the same time, uh, because of various con constraints, you know, developed countries, you know, uh, they are, you know, they are, they themselves are in difficulties, you know, because of inflation, you know, because of uh, uh, pandemic, they, they affected their economy, and last but not the least, Ukrainian the war. war, you know, that is what happened. So, as I said, what Pakistan, you know, it has to, you know, uh, do, do its own work, you know, development work. What I would say is that first of all, we should concentrate on towards uh, renewable, indigenous energy, you know. Uh, we should concentrate on solar, on wind, on nuclear and on hydropower. <clears throat> Third, I would say that the constructions in flood pro prone areas should be on scientific basis. As you know, in Japan, at one time, you know, there used to be a lot of uh, too many earthquakes and the houses they built, they were resistant to earthquakes. You know. In Pakistan also, we should try and uh, build houses in flood prone areas, uh, which are re resilient to floods, that is one. And next I would say that during the last 75 years, so much water 
you know we have wasted you know you know they come from uh, mountains through the rivers and they go it goes into the sea what we should have done was that we should have built small dams along the rivers you know the two advantages one that you could store water particularly during floods and second we could generate electric power you know that is what we should you know think uh, very 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 seriously and do that and uh, the fourth one is that uh, we should create a disaster fund you know and year after year we should try and build it up and use that whenever there is a disaster you know instead of you know begging money from other countries and uh, asking our own people to donate yes we our own people do donate but we should have a fund you know we should uh, you know be utilized in such situations and uh, cops you know will continue we will continue to attend these cops but when all is said and done we have to manage our own house and we have to manage our own circumstances and that is what i would say that we should do uh, last question you have said most of the things what we should what we should do locally do you recommend any channel through which uh, it should be taken up by the government and regimes across the party lines and and uh, throughout the time so it should not be dumped i mean there are important recommendations would you suggest a governance mechanism or some mechanism through which they are adopted in pakistan in pakistan in pakistan we should have a you know high power task force i wouldn't call a committee <laughs> because you, you know you know the definition of a committee uh, yeah. if you don't want to do something uh, they are a collection of people uh, who individually cannot do anything uh, but collectively they decide that nothing can be done uh, no. <laughs> so we should have a task force uh, a permanent task force which should uh, evaluate reconnoiter make plans and make plans for implementation and the fund that i have suggested you know this should be the task force which should plan how to spend those funds you know and it it should be you know on the ground year long not during floods only see so that is what i think it should be interprovincial you know uh, all all provinces should be uh, included represented on that uh, task force and it should be headed by an energetic minister minister yeah. or prime minister prime minister prime minister or if prime minister cannot do it best would be the prime minister but if prime minister cannot do it he can you know delegate get it to delegate it to a, another person who is quite forceful who is quite energetic so this is what i think we must do we must not you know wait for cops there should be some physical allocation which is mandatory for that of course you are quite right you know every province should donate center should donate and uh, you know the population pakistan population should donate right and if possible we should get grants from other countries also if possible you know, we shouldn't you know um, like you know loss and uh, damage fund that we are talking about you know so that can go into that fund you know that we are talking about so you are suggesting that even that loss or damage uh, repayment when it comes should be spent through this task for not it should it should not become part of the budget or 
so it may be it should go to this task force right it should not go into the budget because then it will be appropriated somewhere else somewhere else brigade sir thank you very much for uh, giving us so much time and the result is that out of box solution which is not out of box these task forces worked before should be constituted and uh, we should put our own house in order rather than looking somewhere else and abroad uh, this is uh, that's all for uh, up till now and uh, please keep watching our program and uh, like and recommend these program and give your comments so we can embed them in our future programs goodbye for now Thank you.